Smith and slamming into the ground. That personal foul, 16 on the defense. He's been disqualified. Ooh. Personal foul, number three on the offense. He's been disqualified. Oh. After that, we have an unsportsmanlike on 77. That foul will be enforced. First and 10 at the 11-yard line. So I didn't even see with Thomas in, the, in that whole fracas down there, Lou. They must have seen Marco do something that warranted the ejection. And, you know, that obviously that's a loss for the, for the soul. They might have lost Butler for their secondary, but there goes Marco Thomas from the game as well. I think the soul came out on the short end of ejections there. There goes seven catches and 90 yards from the soul offense and Marco Thomas. Butler also leaves the game, number 16. Curiously, no foul call on Ryan McDaniel, but Neil Tivis is called for a personal foul after the dead ball, which will cost the soul 10 yards, but they do get possession and a first down at the Portland 11. So, I mean, we can't get the, the replay there of what actually happened with Thomas because I paid, I wasn't paying attention there. I was looking at the bottom of the pile. Well, I didn't see it. It, it wasn't in the camera's so it, view. It had to be away from the, oh, and there, whoa. That is going to be a, a serious fine as his helmet went flying and hit a fan in the stands. Quincy Butler, there he is, just threw his helmet into the stands in anger. And I'm sure he didn't intend to hurt anyone, but that's why they don't let you throw your helmet around. Yeah, security's got to get down there quickly. That's beyond unprofessional. You don't, you don't do that on any level. And they got the replay here a little bit. You're going to miss the edge of it, but he tries to throw his helmet against the wall, and it hits a woman in the front row on the head. Oh, boy. 